Welcome back to the fifth of remaking Hotline Miami in Game Maker Studio or the other Game Maker. So basically this should be the same for the previous versions also. So here we go. What did we do last time? So basically we made our first text to be drawn from the menu. Then we made it wiggle. And the next point of this video tutorial, and we will do this in 15 to 16 minutes because last time I recorded and I didn't record. Yeah. So 60 minutes, uh, we will first of all have all the options available and then we will make this kind of 3D-ish animation on the selected part. And then after that will be a, a video where, where we just toggle through the positions and then we are finished with the start screen and actually make some gameplay related stuff or basically just the first uh, gameplay stuff. So here we go. Let's jump right into our current project and make this happen. Come on. And for that, just a few things. So first of all, we need first of all uh, a few things in advance. So let's say some positions. So this is position one, position two, and position three and so on. So basically we need some extra Y positions so we can have these things being drawn um, well, on top of each other. And of course, here, this is the white area so, um, of the sprite or of the text, actually of the text. So therefore we need to draw the font three times. So one in the white area, which is on top then below the regular, so default looking uh, font, which is then in this nice bluish color, which is aqua. And then of course, in the background, a little bit of black. And this is what we're going to do quickly, quickly now. So for that, first of all, we need a few positions. So we are once again in our object menu. And then we need four positions. Of course, the distances are here 50-50. Uh, all the time from each other and now we can actually add that to the y value so plus the height and now we can actually copy paste that and this is the great part so paste paste and now we get it three times because now we have a specific position we can say like hey one color is actually being animated this is the one which is on top so the this one here boom 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 Nah. Boom. And of course, we need one with the shadow color. So we'll just, just see black. And this is, of course, the lowest one. And all the other ones are drawing on top of it. Of course, for now, this wouldn't make any sense because now they are on the same position. And therefore, first of all, our shadow thing, let's go for plus two. So basically, just going down. And then our animation minus two and minus two on the y value so basically we're just drawing it a little bit to the top left which you see of course uh, here so as you can see here top left area and therefore we're gonna do the same here so let's check it out come on and now it looks already pretty sweet and of course we want to animate it and therefore we go to the next part because, uh, hey, uh, let's animate that thing also. For that, we can, yeah, so this is actually nicer to read. But for that, we need a second ease function. So basically, we can just copy paste that thing. But now we do blinking because we want it to blink. And here, the start value is zero. It's going to one. Of course, you can go with lower values. For blinking, normally you would go let's say 90% or something. So you can go for 0 0.9. Let's go for one. Eh, why not? And then let's do that in one second, which is kind of long. And of course, we don't want to override these values. Therefore, this is then our second ease function used for blinking. And therefore, we can manually type everything. Not going to do that. So therefore, <laughs> I'm just going to copy paste that in here, as you can see basically the same stuff but we just uh, give it two and two of on uh, on everything so basically this is our separate ease function for the blinking and then we i introduce a variable which i call the blink set it to zero at the start value and it will go between zero and one and going back and forth and this variable we can actually use for here so basically for the thing which we are Overlaying, and now you will see that we have a background which is a little bit black, then a 
bluish normal text color and then a blinking overlay of the font which is looking kind of nice all right five minutes in sweet we are fast so the next thing which we want to do is basically just copy paste that thing three uh, two times three times three times here we go and then well we don't want to have the same stuff so we need first of all we want to draw the second text the third and the fourth which are here so text one text two text three and text four so basically just start game continue options Ooh. yeah this is how you write it oi, oi, oi. um <clears throat> i hope you didn't see that uh yeah and then of course the second y position and then the third and the fourth and then for example when we started boom we got our <laughs> menu screen pretty much almost almost finished and now let's go into the interesting part how we can we actually recreate this 3d effect which you're seeing for example in this part here and of course the same here so basically what they're doing this is just a loop and then we are drawing the same three fonts for example here or here it doesn't really matter and then let's say uh, we have an eye value and then we will toggle them between those ones so we are just drawing them multiple times with a little distance to each other and then we recreate kind of recreate this thing here so how does that look like in game maker not too difficult uh, to be honest so let's go and actually copy paste our this part here and now what we want to do is create a for loop Ooh, no Va I set it to one and then we need to say like hey how long we don't, don't do we want to have it and for that I will introduce a few variables first of all let's call that draw extra so basically how many times uh, we want to draw extra on top of each other and for now let's go for let's go for 30 and this value will be used later on to increase and decrease and therefore um, it will be the it will be displayed every time different so i is smaller than this and then i plus plus and for now nothing is actually happening because hey uh, this wouldn't make any sense if we don't introduce the i value which is being in the loop and for example what can we actually do well we can add it here so we just say plus i and add it to all these things and of course we could actually do this for the y value and this is how you actually create 3d kind of pseudo text so as you can see boom and this is for example what we can create so as you can see it's being repeated on the horizontal and on the vertical and then boom this is what you get of course i don't want this i just want it to be on the horizontal and for now this is already pretty good but we want to adjust it a little bit first of all we have an active color come on and this one we're gonna use for for what for the normal thing because this is not normal now we are in a kind of let's call it active position and now you will see boom we are creating this a nice effect already so sweet but of course we want it to go up and down and therefore we need to have a few things which kind of manipulate this value which is then defining how this kind of active position is being displayed for that we have an uh, extra alarm we can kill that and kill. now we're gonna need this one and for that folks first of all we will say like hey do we want to increase let's go inc increase yeah increase and say like hey true and this is a thing which we're going to use to increase the value to a maximum one so here max and then guess let's go for let's go for 30 30 i guess is a is a good value here and therefore we just say like hey we want to increase this value until this point and then this variable will flip to false and then it will toggle between uh, 30 and then going down to zero and then going up and down so this is how it works and of course another variable 
you don't have to do this like this but i like it with the variables and here this will say like animate time and just saying like hey how many times do we want to refresh and change this value which is being then used in the for loop so here animate time we just say like hey alarm set zero so every time so every four steps basically uh, this alarm is being refreshed and therefore we can actually do a few things so first of all uh, i'm going to use this increase variable and just saying like hey are we increasing of course we are because this was true so we're just checking like hey are we increasing increasing true yes sweet so what do we do we just update our draw extra from the for loop by one and of course we're saying like hey wait a minute is this value bigger than our max value then oh we want not to increase so we just say like hey don't increase and just say like increase is false boom of course then it will go into 30 of course you could do this before that but hey uh, doesn't really matter this is just for showing you how you can do this and of course you need the negative one it's saying like hey uh, is increase actually false so we are not increasing it then we are decreasing it so we just say minus minus so draw extra minus minus and then of course we need another check just saying like hey but don't fall too low so if you are smaller than zero set it to zero boom because you don't want to have any negative values and say like hey but then sweet we can start increasing it again and let's actually check it out before we check it out we actually need to <laughs> toggle it once uh, the, the cor not correct the last time so we just say like hey start the alarm one time and of course then it will loop for infinity in this room at least so let's start it and now you can see it will go up and go down and up and down sweet so as you can see this is pretty neat so therefore this does already work and we will introduce a little thing of course we don't want it for now do we want it for now yeah okay we just skip it for the next video tutorial so here um, as you can see we already did this 3d effect of uh, uh, printing or drawing a thing on the screen with the, with the font and in the next video tutorial we will do well the selection come on where are we are where are we we will do now then um, like flipping through these positions boom 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 and then of course we will use um, I don't know, text and then i guess it's seven eight minutes and boom we are finished with the title screen and go into some more interesting stuff concerning gameplay because gameplay is always good all right see you around have a good one one up indie